What is going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. Today we've got a beautiful little pond over my right shoulder. Got the kayak back here and uh, we're gonna see if we can get on a few fish. I don't really have like a plan or an agenda or anything for today's video. Figure we'd just come on out here and see if we can get on a few fish. I was out here about a week ago throwing around some big swim baits. Didn't catch anything but I did see a whole bunch of fish especially up in that back corner over there. So we're gonna get on out here, see if we can cross paths with a couple of largemouth. But yeah, like I said, I don't really have like a plan or a goal or anything today. So got a few rods rigged up just to see if we can get bit. Got a little soft plastic paddle tail swim bait, little jerk bait set up, big swim bait obviously, and then just a little wacky rig. But yeah, got a few hours till the sun goes down. So I'm gonna get the boat launched and uh, let's see if we can get on a few fish today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's see what we can do. What? Well, I guess I'm on a stint of not recording. But, got the first fish of the day, let's go. First guy came on this little swim bait with an underspin, not a very big fish, but I'll take it later, bud. Okay, well this is not a great start. This is now the second video in a row that I have forgotten to hit record. I am 95% sure that I hit record this time though, so I don't know what the hell's going on. I think it might just be a GoPro thing. Some of these GoPros are a little weird. But, uh, you yeah, know, we're going to keep on moving up into this windblown corner. See if we can't find ourselves one that's a little bit bigger. Good start, though. That took me maybe four minutes to get hit, so I'm not complaining. Man, it's a freaking steamer out here, though, folks. All of a sudden, it just got super hot. Been, like, mid-50s for the past few months. And now, all of a sudden, it's 75 and beautiful out. Not even minding a little bit of wind right now because it's actually keeping me a little cooler. Here's a bite. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Hell yeah, brother. Another little dude. This one ain't the wacky rig. Hell yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Little <gasps> oh. oh, fighting guy. And he choked the wacky rig. About the same size as the first one. I'll take that though. Just feels good to, oh God. Just feels good to catch a couple. And this one's actually super cool because of what we just caught it on. All right, first official bass on camera. There, buddy. Swam the wrong way. He went up into the reeds for some reason. Okay, well, fish number two of the day. Didn't take me super, super long. I think I've been out here for, how long have I been recording for? 13 minutes, I've probably been out here for like 20 minutes or so. Caught two fish so far. That one is still trying to make his way back out of the reeds. I can hear him kind of kicking around in there. But yeah, like I said, this is kind of a funny worm for me to be fishing. Not because it's kind of unorthodox or anything, but because I found this in the parking lot right before I launched my kayak. It was just like this little green pumpkin or watermelon Senko just sat in the parking lot. So picked it up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and catch a couple of fish on this thing. And uh, there we go. First one on the parking lot Senko. Keep making some casts out here. I'm kind of sat on like this shallow little bar and then there's like a deeper drop off out there so i've just been kind of letting it sink out there on the drop off and that's where that little dude was just kind of chilling out there in the deeper water right off the grass line but yeah let's see what else this little parking lot worm can do i guess i obviously have other senkos and stuff so if we go through this one specific watermelon seed senko it's not the end of the world obviously but uh yeah i don't know i figured it'd be kind of fun to try and catch one on a bait that I literally just found in the parking lot and uh yeah seems like they work There's a bite. Got him. There's another one. Another little tiny dude. Up off his grass line. Come here, friend. 
It might be the biggest one of the day, but that's not really saying much. Eh, not about the same size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, friend. You're mad. Just come here. Give me your face. Yep. Another little dude on the old parking lot worm. That's, yeah. Fish number three. Fat little dude, at least. This guy's got some belly to him. All right, little man. Appreciate it. See ya. All right. Made a paddle to the other side of the pond. There was actually another gentleman over there fishing that I didn't see until I pretty much rolled right up on top of him. So I figured I would just be safe, move to the other side, and uh, see if there's anything going on over here. This side is also kind of out of the wind, which I like. Won't have to fret about my boat positioning as much because that was starting to get a little annoying over there. Oh, there we go. Little guy. That's probably what's been pecking at me over here. Bunch of little dankeros. I might be this this one is definitely the smallest one of the day. Oh my god. That's a that's a micro bass. Alright, fish number four, I think. I think that's fish number four. Slowly downgrading in size. But I like that we're getting bit. See ya buddy. I'm getting bit almost every cast over here. Again, I think they're mostly little tiny fish. Which is why I'm having trouble getting them to stay hooked. I'm, There's another bite. He's got it. Yeah. Another little dinker. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Cable? Little jumper guy. He's got another little guy trying to take it out of his mouth. You good, bro? <laughs> My God. Yep. We are uh, we are downgrading in size, folks. God dang it. I swear there are big fish in this lake somewhere. I've caught some nice ones out of here. A couple two and a halfs, threes, seen some nicer ones. Heard some tales of some absolute freaks, but it seems like today all we're getting are the little guys. See ya. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep on working my way down this bank. If there's gonna be a bunch of fish on it, I'm gonna keep fishing. Even if we have to weed through a bunch of these little dudes to find a decent one. I know there are some good fish in this pond, so I'm gonna just keep fishing, I guess. Oh, and before you guys ask me what worm this is, I honestly don't know. If I had to guess, it smelled and kind of looks like and has the same consistency as like a, uh, a Strike King shimmy stick. So if I had to guess, that's probably what I'd say this is. I got another one on. There we go. Got that guy. Okay. Marginally better. Not really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's another one. He's playing with it. I'm gonna let him eat it this time. Got him. That's actually not a terrible guy in comparison to everybody else he's been catching. I'm scared of friggin' bullfrog to my left as I just hooked this fish. Where are you going, bro? Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, comparatively a decent fish with regards to the rest of the ones we've been catching today, but not a very big one. I think this is like the seventh or eighth fish on this parking lot worm, though. You can bit a few more times than that. Thing definitely gets bit. I don't know why anybody left it in the parking lot. Later, bro beans. There's one. Got him. Another little guy. Oh, best one of the day, maybe. Come here, friend. Keep saying that over a little 10 inch fish. He's pulling me. He's pulling. Yeah, oh, almost jumped in the boat there. There we go. A little bit better size. Fish is probably about a whopping half a pound, but you know, 
as opposed to the little quarter pound guys we've been catching all day, that don't feel too bad. Alfredo's ain't mine, I find. Parking lot worm still holding up somehow. Keep fishing it, I guess. <laughs> it keeps getting bit like this. <laughs> ain't no reason to throw anything else. There's a bite. Got him. Got him. Another little dude, I want to go check my phone and I got bit. Hey, jumper. Jumper guy. Probably one of the better ones of the day. Come here, friend. Yep, I know. You want to come around the left side of the boat? Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord. I just had like a four pounder come out and try and eat this bait out of this fish's mouth. He's still right there. Oh, he wasn't actually that big. He's probably about two. Still, though. Best fish I've seen all day. And of course, I got the little one hooked up. Come here, friend. Give me your face. Thank you. Oh, now he's all caught up in my anchor rope. There we go. Hell yeah. That little chunky guy. Keep absolutely swallowing this little wacky rig. Definitely means they like it. Probably about a three-quarter pound guy. One of the bigger ones we caught today. Not too bad. All right, homie. Have a good one. Later. There's a bite. That's pretty small. Got him. A little dude. A little tiny guy again. Yep. Oh my god. Buddy just bonked his head on the front of the yak. I am sorry, homie. Don't get me down in the grass. What do you think you're doing? Sir? <laughs> what a half-hearted little jump that was. All right, I'm sorry. I'll stop playing with you now. Come over here. Come here, little mister. Goodbye, friend. See you later. Have a wonderful day. We still out here using the exact same worm, folks. I don't know what to tell you. Parking lot worms are sick. Oh my God. As I break every single one of my rods on that tree. Jesus. Oh, there's one. That's a little better. Oh yeah, a little better. Still not quite that pound mark that we're looking for, but better than the, the micros that we were catching. Come here, friend. Come here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're mad, bro. You're mad. Mean little fish. See ya. Oh. There's another one. Went to reposition the boat and Buddy picked it up. Ah, they're little, dude. No, they're little, dude. <sighs> yeah, go ahead, jump in the boat for me, bud. Oh man, homie choked that. He definitely had that for a hot minute while I was repositioning myself. Sweet. Hoop. Later. There we go. Another little dude. Yeah, jumper. Yeah, jumper. What's up, Cable? What do I do, baby? Oh. Yep. Another little micro. Fail for the wacky rig. Surprise, surprise. Oh. Oh. Did he take my worm? No, he took my worm. Oh, he broke me off. Oh, no. 
probably should have retied. I think I've caught like 20 fish on that one hook. And never retied once, but that's what you get. I was just having a good time whacking back on a little, or a bunch of little guys, I should say. Like I said, I probably should have retied when I had the chance to. I just wasn't really thinking about it. I was catching a bunch of little fish, and I was like, eh, there's no way one of these is going to break me off. And of course, I hook into one that may have actually been decent, and uh, there he goes. Gone with the wind. Alright, rigged back up. Got a different bait, different color on. This is more like a, a shad style color almost, like a bait fish. Kind of smoke gray looking deal. A little bit odd for a wacky rig or a Senko in general, but I'm sure it'll get bit. These fish aren't too smart as you could probably tell. Getting bit right here in front of the kayak. Little guy again. Oh, acrobatic dude. Might actually be the smallest fish of the day. Wow, that is a, that's a giant folks. My God. Later. <laughs> you know that they are tiny when they make a splish instead of a splash. There's a fish. Got him. Oh, it's, oh, he's just a fighting hard. He's just a fighting hard. Just a little guy fighting hard. Absolutely choked my worm though. Come here, friend. Yeah, I probably ate, let him eat it for just a little bit too long. Go. Nice. Thought he's bleeding a little bit, but it should be all right. Yo, jumping guy. There he goes. There we go. Oh, not a bad one. <laughs> Strong fighter. Oh man. Man, buddy's got an attitude problem. Where are you going, Holmes? Where are you going, Holmes? <laughs> been hooking up to these little quarter pound dudes for so long the little three quarter pounder feels like a good fish look at him pulling me around how you going bro come up here come up here yup yup another one there we go sweet starting to go in the right direction for size little three quarter pound dude i think Probably one of the better quality guys of the day. See ya, boss. Appreciate the bite. I think he's got it. Yeah, another little dude. Another little dude. Oh, God, he's actually fighting a little bit. He's actually fighting a little bit. He's not bad. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely getting somewhere. About the same size as the last guy, I'll take that. Come here, friend. Yeah. Not a little dinker, but not quite a micro dinker, so I'll take it. I will take it. Again, absolutely choked this thing. I think I'm just letting these fish eat it for a little bit too long. I'm so used to catching all these little micro guys, so when I get one that's actually big enough to eat the bait fully, well, you know, I kind of just let them eat it for too long. It's no big deal though. I'm pretty good at getting gut hook fish unhooked with minimal injuries. There we go. Little dude. Not even bleeding. See? Can't even tell that I hooked him straight down in his gullet. Later, homie. Peace. Is that a fish? That is a fish. I've got one. Oh, it's a decent one, too. Oh, jumper. Jumper cable. Yep. God dang. All of them are getting this bait so deep. This guy's not quite choke choked, but he's getting there. Sweet. Later, bro.
Did I miss him? I missed him. Oh no, he still got it. Yeah! Got him that time. Just another little dude playing with it. Very nice of him to turn me around. Oh, that's actually not a bad fish. Might be one of the better ones of the day. Oh yeah, solid one. Yeah. That's definitely the best fish of the day. All right. Hmm. Not by much, but he might actually go a pound. He might actually go a pound. Come here, sir. Open your mouth. Oh, what just happened? I think he broke me off. Oh no, he just popped out and popped my my hook in my hair. I was like, where the hell did my hook go? I felt I felt my worm, but I didn't feel the hook anymore. Okay, well, there goes that guy. I was playing him like an idiot at the boat. Whatever. Probably about another pound and a half pound guy. There's a bite. Another one. I get that one. I get that guy. Little tiny dude. Of course, I hooked the micro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, protein. So I got him on the bottom mouth, bottom lip. I don't know why I said bottom mouth. I don't think people or fish have more than one mouth, but see you, bud. Appreciate it. Oh. There we go. Another guy. Halfway decent fish. Yep. Oh my god, what happened? How did I do this? Oh, I got it wrapped around his fin, that's what's going on. I was like, why is this bass upside down? Alright. Yet another one on the wacky. Later, skater. There's another one. Another guy. Oh, jumping. Jumping, dude. Hey, hey, give us a show. Don't get me in the grass. I'm not a very big fish. I definitely got an attitude problem. There we go. That might actually not be a bad fish. I can't tell. Might be another little guy. Oh yeah, there's a little guy. There's another one trying to take it out of his mouth. Come here. Come over here. There we go. Little guy, corner of the mouth, wacky rig. Same as every other fish today. Later, homie. Have a good one. Yeah. There's a bite. He's got it. Got him. Feels like a healthy one. Feels like a semi-healthy one. He's shrinking. <laughs> He's shrinking. He's growing a little bit. He's growing a little bit. Ooh, pretty fish. Come around the left side, Holmes. Come here. Man, I got him all sorts of tied up. Got him like a, a knot tied around his body. Had him barely hooked though, right in the corner of the mouth. Pretty fish though, kind of scarred up on the side, but definitely a pretty fish. Probably one of the longer ones we caught today. Like that. Maybe. Oh yeah, that is another fish. Oh, okay. A little different size guy. Okay. Oh no, he's just fighting hard. <laughs> yep, about the same size. Mm-hmm. Another little dude. On the whack. Sweet. Ew, that was brutal. Oh. 
Whew. May as well make a couple of casts here with the big bait since I didn't really get a chance to from over there. God, there was a huge fucking snake right there, and I didn't even notice. Oh. I don't know what kind of snake that is either, but. Oh. Oh my God, look at that thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's like going into the water. Let's see if he sticks his head out real quick. Oh, there he is. Look, 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 look it, look it. Oh, man. That's crazy. I don't know what kind of snake that is. I'm going to stay away from him because he don't look super happy with me. Bro. He doesn't have a rattle on him, so he's not a rattlesnake, that's for sure. I didn't hear him rattling or anything either, so that's fun. I'm going to pull the kayak up here a bit further and uh, probably do my intro up here. <laughs> Whew. Well, all right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Got out there, caught an absolute ton of fish at this little pond today. Wasn't expecting that at all, but it was a great time. Unfortunately, didn't catch anything of any size today. Seemed like the biggest fish that we caught out here was just about a pound. Saw a couple of fish that were a little bit bigger than that. But honestly, just a great time getting out here at the little pond, just whacking back on a few fish. Again, nothing of any size, but again, we caught probably 25, 30 fish today. So definitely a solid day of fishing regardless. But yeah, I'm going to try and get my kayak loaded back up on top of the car without getting bit by that snake that's over here in the grass somewhere. Again, really hope you guys enjoyed. Check and wreck them, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.